I think that this innovation has potential to significantly increase the performance of electrical machines in the future. There are clear advantages which could be got by using carbon nanoconductors instead of copper in the machines. Carbon nanotube motors, the breakthrough that could rewrite electrical engineering. For more than a century, the electric motor has been built on a simple, reliable foundation, copper coils. From the ceiling fan in your living room to the drivetrain of a Tesla, copper has been the material of choice for winding motor coils, converting electricity into motion. Occasionally aluminum steps in when weight or cost is an issue, but the formula has remained largely unchanged for decades. That tradition may now be coming to an end. A team of researchers in South Korea has quietly achieved something that sounds almost impossible. They've developed a working electric motor without using a single gram of copper or aluminum. Instead, their design relies entirely on carbon nanotubes, extraordinarily small yet powerful structures that could transform not only electric motors but also every industry that relies on them. If successful, this shift would represent a once-in-a-century paradigm change in how we think about machines. The limits of copper. Copper has always been the undisputed king of electrical conductivity. Its ability to move electrons efficiently, its durability, and its relative abundance have made it the backbone of the electrical age. Motors, transformers, power lines, all of them depend on it. But copper has significant drawbacks. It's heavy, limiting the efficiency of devices like drones, electric vehicles, and aircraft that demand lightness above all else. It's expensive, subject to global supply fluctuations. And it isn't particularly flexible, which prevents engineers from rethinking motor design in bold new ways. These constraints have long been accepted as unavoidable. To build an electric motor, you simply had to use copper or aluminum. Until now. Enter the carbon nanotube. Carbon nanotubes are structures so small they make a human hair look like a tree trunk by comparison. They're essentially rolled up sheets of carbon atoms arranged in a hexagonal lattice. Despite their minuscule scale, they exhibit properties that border on science fiction. Strength far greater than steel, remarkable flexibility, and impressive electrical conductivity. For years, scientists have theorized about their potential. You may have even heard them mentioned in connection with the idea of a space elevator, a futuristic cable stretching from Earth into orbit that could only be built from materials strong enough to support their own weight over tens of thousands of miles. Carbon nanotubes are one of the few candidates considered strong enough for such a feat. Now, researchers at the Korea Institute of Science and Technology, KIST, have taken these molecules from theory to practical application. A new way to build wires. The South Korean team developed a manufacturing process called Leotropic Liquid Crystal Assisted Surface Texturing, mercifully shortened to LS. This process allows them to align carbon nanotubes into precise, usable structures. The result is a material they call Core Sheet Composite Electric Cable, or CSCEQ. Unlike copper wires, which are rigid and prone to fatigue, CSCEQ is flexible, lightweight, and resilient. It can twist, bend, and stretch while maintaining excellent electrical properties. In other words, it does everything copper can do but without copper's limitations. Testing so far has been remarkable. Motors built with these carbon-based coils have shown conductivity improvements of more than 130% compared to copper, all while reducing overall weight by as much as 80%. For industries where every gram counts, this is a revolutionary leap. What it means for technology. The implications of carbon nanotube wiring are staggering. Aerospace. Electric propulsion systems in planes and satellites are currently weighed down by heavy copper wiring. Replacing that with nanotube alternatives could dramatically reduce mass, extend range, and improve efficiency. Electric vehicles. Cars rely on hundreds of kilograms of copper. Substituting lighter materials could extend battery life, increase performance, and cut production costs. Wearables and medical devices. Flexible wiring that conforms to the body could power new generations of sensors, intelligent textiles, and portable health monitors. Robotics. Motors that bend and stretch like biological muscles could unlock robots that move more naturally and efficiently than ever before. Infrastructure. Even large-scale electrical grids could benefit from lighter, more durable wiring that's easier to install and maintain. This is not just an upgrade to existing designs, 
it opens the door to entirely new ones. Imagine electric motors that are no longer confined to rigid shapes, but instead adapt to curves, folds, and forms we've never thought possible. Challenges on the road ahead. Of course, no revolutionary technology arrives without obstacles. Carbon nanotube wiring faces several. Manufacturing scale. Producing nanotubes with the necessary precision is expensive and technically complex. Aligning them into usable wires requires advanced facilities, limiting widespread adoption for now. Conductivity gaps. While highly conductive, nanotubes still don't quite match copper in raw performance under certain conditions. Closing this gap is an active area of research. Durability concerns. Exposure to moisture, oxidation, or high voltages can degrade nanotubes unless they're specially treated. Longevity in real-world environments remains to be proven. Environmental questions. Large-scale production and disposal of nanomaterials raise concerns about safety and sustainability that must be addressed before mass rollout. These hurdles explain why carbon nanotube motors are not yet in mass production. Material science breakthroughs often take years, sometimes decades, to move from the lab to the marketplace. The future of electric motors. Imagine the world a decade from now. Electric cars with motors that are half the weight and twice as efficient. Drones that can fly for hours instead of minutes. Robots with muscle-like motors capable of fluid, human-like motion. Even power grids made lighter, cheaper, and more resilient. All of this could stem from replacing one humble component the copper coil, with a new kind of wiring woven from carbon at the nanoscale. We are standing at the edge of a shift that could redefine not only electric motors but the very foundation of how machines are built. Whether carbon nanotubes fully replace copper or simply carve out critical niches in aerospace, robotics, and wearables, their influence seems inevitable. A quiet revolution. The Levon Smurf EV may win headlines for being the cutest car in the world, but deep inside research labs, breakthroughs like carbon nanotube motors could reshape the automotive industry and every other technology that relies on electricity. What began as a quiet experiment in a South Korean lab may one day become as common as copper wiring is today. When that happens, the electric motor won't just hum with energy. It will flex, bend, and pulse with carbon, a testament to how far human ingenuity can take us. This isn't just about building better machines. It's about reimagining what machines can be. Thank you so much for joining us today.